what's up you guys my name is georgie grimm and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel what is up i'm reviewing a product that one of my favorite youtubers by the name of emma chamberlain Woo! so it's her new coffee line and i decided to get not one but two packages because guess what I was super dumb and I accidentally ordered two instead of one. We're gonna do an unboxing on my channel because that's what we do here. I've been waiting to unbag these, I guess. So I'm gonna do that. I'm not a good, like, unboxer. Oh my god, I don't think I've ever, like, unboxed anything on my channel before, you guys. <gasps> Wait, this is the first experience. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm so excited right now. This is a medium roast. And we're gonna learn how to make this together. So you see that this is how they come. They're in these like little packages. So they're really neat. They smell really good. Like they're, they smell really like nice, like hefty. So I'm gonna just actually see what we have here. So there's a lot of just medium roast. I thought I saw like a cold brew one. Maybe that was a different like line. There were only like, wow, I'm actually really glad that I bought two instead of one because there were only one, two, three, four, five, five packages. I got this extra package. I'm really glad that I did because now I will have more than just one. Packaging is decent, not gonna lie. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. Um, so we have 10 now, we don't have like five. That's stupid. No offense, but like five is a really shitty amount for like what it's worth. TDH, not even gonna lie to you guys. If you're going to pay $10 for only five packs of coffee, what the fuck are you doing, Emma? I'm sorry. Bitch, the fuck? I'm so sorry. But like, you are really getting cheated out of your money. You're literally paying only $10 for only five packs of these things. I'm kind of mad. I'm kind of mad. Just saying. This is why I'm reviewing this, okay? This is exactly why I'm reviewing this. <laughs> Ten dollars for only five. The number five for ten. No, no, you have to include tax. Thirteen dollars for only five. I'm screaming. I'm, I'm sorry. That's not okay. But anyways, we're gonna try this. Okay. I'm gonna take you guys with me on a journey. Yeah, no, because I just brewed some hot water, and we're gonna take this and this, and we're gonna go. We're gonna dirty vlog here, folks. Okay. So I'm gonna pull out one of my coffee cups. It's cute, it's fun, and we're gonna leave this piece of the tripod. <laughs> Sorry, Tony. <laughs> All right, sit. Okay, so the instructions basically say to submerge it first into the hot water, to saturate it for at least 15 seconds or longer, and then you steep it for five minutes. I'm confused, wait, that doesn't make sense. We're gonna do it my way. Um, I'm gonna leave it in for only like, 15 seconds. Whoa, that's strong. I kind of like it though. All right, we're gonna try it. Let me see what happens. A little bit dirty, cause I've had coffee in there, so don't, don't come for me. I'm also kind of scared to be having coffee at like 6 p.m., but that's fine. I do things my way. I was going to make some iced coffee, by the way. That's kind of why I have this here. This is what the instructions look like, by the way. I'll show you guys on a different package to show you like exactly what it looks like. But like the coffee smell is pretty good. I just really wish she had like done brown coffee and not just like these packages of coffee. You know what I mean? Like I have a lot of thoughts. I really want McDonald's. Like I think I'm gonna order some McDonald's actually. We're gonna brew some hot water and wait for this coffee to steep. And bring our tripod back into the room and see what happens and see how the coffee tastes because this beach is going to drink this coffee. My thoughts. <laughs> Definitely going to be critical because I welcome to me. I don't talk about things lightly. Yeah, we are honest on this channel. So first off, I have a couple of notes for Emma Chamberlain. If she's watching this, I highly doubt she is. I am literally so not at all known by any means whatsoever. It's fine. Nobody cares about me. So basically my first couple of notes are that, you know, I love the concept, right? First go around on making your first company Chamberlain coffee, right? Great, love that for you. I personally think that 
that you, Emma, if you're watching this, if you're not audience, I think she should have not done like packages. Like I get the concept, the concept of that. It's kind of like tea, you know what I mean? Like you put it in a little like fusy package. So you have the coffee. Here's what the coffee looks like. And here's what the little like bag looks like when it's like fused in the cup. It's kind of like tea, you know what I mean? Like it looks like tea, but it's not, it's coffee. So, and then you have like a little like tea bag thingy that has an S on it. I don't really get the point of that. Maybe it's what, no, you know what it is? It's coffee bean. First, I'm gonna try it. It's earthy, you know what I mean? The description on the bag is tasting notes of chocolate, cherry, and nuts, and it's rich and smooth. It's from the country's origin of Colombia, Guatemala, and Nicar Whoa. Nicaragua. Hi, I'm not good at pronouncing things apparently. Nicaragua. There we go. It's a medium roast. It's nitro sealed. It's really good without like anything in that TVH. I'm not gonna lie, like it's actually like, it's really good. <laughs> I'm not even just saying that. I love coffee. I love coffee. I probably don't love it as much as Emma does, but like I love it to the point where I drink it literally every single day. If I don't, I'm gonna go crazy. I'm pretty sure everybody in America can agree with me on that one. This, this is a badass cup of coffee. Like I don't feel the need to put any milk into it. Like it's so good by itself. Like I could because it's so good. I'm not even kidding. Like this is, it's so yummy. I don't know how, oh my God. Okay, so for what it's worth, quality wise, you did some good shit, Emma. You did some good shit. You know your shit when it comes to coffee. I will be totally honest with you. You know your shit. That's what matters. But on the practicality hand, because that's what we're talking about here too. Concept being, you know, you take your bag, right? You're getting up in the morning, you're getting ready for a shoot. You know, you're going to class, you're going to work. You know, you're going to rehearsal, right? Like who knows? You're, you're running a little bit late, okay? You know, you're gonna put your pot of water and you're gonna let it run. The concept of having to take like a, a tea bag, right? And not treat this like tea and just let it steep. Shit. But you put your tea bag or your coffee bag into your hot water. You have to wait for it to steep for about five to 10 minutes, generally speaking on how strong you want it to be. But if you're like me and you like having iced coffee and you like having it in your Starbucks cup because you support the brand, you want to add your oat milk or your almond milk to it. That adds at least an extra 10 minutes to the already long coffee process of making a general cup of coffee. That's the only note I have is for practicality reasons. It doesn't really like, it's not practical. Yes, granted they're portable of that. But on the flip side, the like speed of it is not very fast. It's actually slower than like making a regular pot of coffee in my opinion. So, Solid, like 10 out of 10 on the, the taste. The aroma is like a, it's like a solid eight out of 10. It still kind of smells like burnt coffee if I'm being totally honest here, but I haven't found a coffee that doesn't smell like burnt coffee. You know what I mean? Although I must say like packaging is definitely a solid eight out of 10. I personally think that your design could be a little bit better, but again, first go around, right? I like the instructions. The instructions are great, very cute. By the way, this is what the instructions look like. So I'm gonna go make this some iced coffee and I'll come back in like two seconds and tell you guys if it's better. You guys wait, I have some something to show you guys. Okay, Ooh, there's this like, oh shit, no, what's going on? There was some residue at the bottom of the coffee cup and I was like, is this what the fuck? Okay. We're gonna attempt to make some iced coffee. Put some more in there. This is my favorite brand of oat milk. It's really creamy, um, it's really sweet, and it's really good. I also like Califia Farms. Califia Farms? I don't know what they're called, but like they're really good too. Shit, I just like spilled. Whatever. It's fine. Okay, I'm gonna try it with the oat milk. Bro, that's actually like so good. Oat milk, like I swear, goes so well with this blend. Like, oh my god. Dude, 10 out of 10. 
I want to know what this is made out of. Oh, okay. Wow, I'm a dumb, dumb, dumb. It says made using renewable and compostable materials. Okay, we love that. It's also fair trade certified. And it's with a little doggy on the back. It's with Bixby. I don't know who Bixby is, but um, that's cute. That's my review on her coffee. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I certainly did. It's a fun time and I really liked reviewing this product. If you guys did enjoy this video, please let me know and leave a comment down in the section down below and leave a like on this video and be sure to tell all your friends about this video, okay? And I'll be sure to catch you guys in the next video. Okay, thanks. Bye.